Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So today I decided to make a video on how you can connect your mining rig if you are using Windows with the Binance pool. And uh, it is a little bit complicated if you are a newbie, obviously, but um, if you are a little bit into mining, obviously you just have to follow the steps uh, and it's not going to be that uh, difficult. But anyway, I got uh, various... Um, a request from different people that wanted to uh, wanted me to make a video about this so here we are i am doing this video so obviously to be able to connect your mining rig or your gpu whatever you may have your own pc uh, to mine with the Binance pool, first thing, uh, it's obvious you need to have an account uh, in the Binance uh, crypto exchange, basically, because uh, everything that Binance owns, uh, it works uh, through the crypto exchange. So you go to Binance, you create an account. Obviously, if you don't already have an account with Binance, then you can use my referral link that you will find on the video description. In this way, by creating an account with my referral link, you are going to help me a little bit when you use the Binance account. After you have created and after you have verified your Binance account, this is going to be the first page when you log in into your Binance account and in here you will see a tab finance. When you go over this tab with your mouse, in here you will find Binance pool because obviously this is what we need to connect our mining rig or mining rigs to the Binance pool. So basically we click on the Binance pool and obviously it will take us to the Binance pool page where we can do basically everything uh, that you need to do to connect your mining rigs. When you come for the first time, obviously in here that you see the EVGA GTX, uh, this is my account that I have created, but basically you won't see anything here. You will see account management. And we need this because this is the first step that you need to do in here. Basically you go here and you click on the plus sign so basically we can create an account and this is very important because by using the Binance pool we are not actually going to uh, set on the miner our current Ethereum mining address but instead of the Ethereum mining address we put on the application that we mine we put the account that we're going to create in here the name of the account so in the mining account you set your name uh, whatever name uh, you like, for example, the rig one, you can set um, the name of your GPUs that you use, you can set the name of your own PC if you're mining for your PC, it doesn't matter what name you can set, just set a name that you can remember, obviously, uh, because this is what we're going to use to connect our applications that we mine. Uh, to mine on the Binance pool. After that, obviously, we have two algorithms uh, in the Binance pool, SHA-256, which is for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that use that algorithm, and obviously Ethereum algorithm, which is for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and other uh, crypto coins and tokens that use uh, the ETHash algorithm. So basically, you set your name, you select ETHash, uh, you don't need any remarks and you hit on create and you have um, created your account. You can use obviously multiple accounts if you want, but I mean, I don't see why you need more than one account. But anyway, after you create your account, you will see it ranked in here. You go to account management and when you go to account management, uh, you will have all the information that uh, or the things that you can do with your account. Now, this is the my uh, account name that I uh, had already created and this is the actual one that I am using uh, right now. So from here, we are uh, already set up. Okay, from now, the next step obviously is to go and grab our miner in this case i'm going to use mb miner you can use t-rex you can use whatever miner uh, you can use a phoenix miner whatever miner you like um, everyone might have the some uh, uh, something different when you set up uh, the miner but uh, overall everything is going to be almost the same uh, the reason why i use mb miner is because with t-rex miner and with phoenix miner although everything uh, works fine and I can see my workers and such and the speed is always the same but the problem with those two miners at least for me is that I get too many rejected shares over 10% of rejected shares so when I tried MB miner then I noticed that as you can see I have almost zero per uh, zero percent uh, rejected shares here for example i had two percent 
here uh, two percent uh, every 12 hours basically so uh, this is the miner that works best for me but this does not mean that um, mb miner is the best or that you uh, need to use this you can use whatever miner you like and whatever works best in your case with your gpus and with the binance pool because obviously believe it or not uh, some miners might might work better and some other miners might not so yeah technically you go on the mb miner page obviously we uh, download the mb miner for windows a zip file but obviously you have other system if you want to use those after you download the file obviously you open the files the zip file and you will have the folder of mb miner now you know you need to keep in mind that uh, your antivirus or windows defender might get this file as a harmful one so even while downloading they might stop the downloading uh, from the start so if that happens and the file doesn't download obviously you need to disable your antivirus or windows defender temporarily you download the file and then uh, and then you go on the windows defender to exceptions and obviously your uh, your antivirus that you are using and you add uh, an exception to the mb miner folder after that obviously you go to the zip file you grab the mb miner folder and you extract it wherever you want on your pc and after you have uh, extracted uh, the folder this is going to be what the folder is going to have inside now after you have extracted the folder if you don't see inside the folder this uh, file in here mbminer.exe uh, basically it means that your ant antivirus or the windows defender has grabbed this file as harmful so you need to go into your virus chest and restore the file and obviously add it back again to exception because yeah believe it or not it's going to be a pain in the ass this uh, thing with the antivirus basically I was using uh, for years uh, Avast anti antivirus uh, and basically recently uh, this antivirus was becoming a pain in the ass by grabbing my MB miner as a malware so technically right now I have uh, uninstalled altogether uh, Avast uh, antivirus so I don't use it anymore right now I'm using only Windows Defender and everything is going fine it doesn't uh, catch it as a malware but even if it does you can add it to exception you can restore the file whenever you want so with that out of the way now we are uh, almost ready to uh, to set our miner up obviously you see different batch file here files here already created and what we're interested this time is uh, for the file for ethereum but uh, you have to keep in mind that when you go here you right click you go to edit you will see uh, the default uh, the default line in here or configuration file and as you see um, they are almost the same all the miners with minor changes uh, with stratum the pool the port and obviously the ethereum address where you're going to mine and other data that you need but if we go to the file that i have created for ethereum now you will see a difference as i told you the f uh, the string is the same stratum uh, the, uh, obviously for the pool binance the port but if you look at the address now we don't use the ethereum address but we use the name of the account that we created on uh, that we created on the Binance pool. Basically, if we go here again, we set this name in here, the account name. We don't set on the miner the Ethereum address in the Binance pool. We set the account name, this name in here, full name exactly like, like it is in here. So you go here, you select the name, you copy it, and basically you are done. You go to the file then this is the string mb miner f hash stratum uh, pool f hash for the uh, pool uh, for binance basically it's really easy you go here in the pool binance home page and in here you have uh, this one f mining uh, faq and in here you have all the stratum uh, strings in here basically stratum urls for mining ethereum with different ports 888 uh, so basically you begin with this one is this one doesn't work you can try this port and so on so now you have to keep in mind that this is um, uh, the setting uh, for my 
uh, sorry, for my particular GPU, which is an RDX 3070, if you have an AMD, uh, the setting for AMD might be a little bit different for MB miners, so I have to check about that. But the, the string, uh, the stratum, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the pool, obviously, and the port are going to be the same. Now, obviously, as we said, uh, the address is going to be the name account, then dot, and then. Uh, the after the data, this is the name of um, of the current rig that you want uh, to identify into Binance Pool. So if we go here to workers, you will see I have two workers, and one is RDX 3070, which which is this one in here. That's why uh, that's why I have said this name, and it will show like this on Binance Pool. And the other one is working is the RTX 2070 Super because I have another PC working uh, on the same pool. Obviously, you see the RTX 3070 not working because I am recording right now. So basically, I cannot uh, mine while I am recording. So that's why it is uh, off right now. And uh, then space log and pause. These are all default. And then you go to file. You save and then you're done you have set your uh you have set your um your miner, uh, uh, your application ready to mine. Then you grab this file, you can take it to desktop if you want for, uh, you can uh, send a, a shortcut to desktop if you want uh, for, to make it a little bit easier. And then basically you just double click on it and it will begin mining. Is uh, If everything is set up, it should be working just fine. As you see, all recognized, the miner is starting and everything. And now when you go to the pool, it will take at least 15 minutes for the worker to show up in the pool. If it takes more than 15 minutes and you don't see anything here on the pool, but you see that uh, here on the application everything is fine and uh, it is mining, then obviously it means that you have set something wrong in the string here. So you need to to double check uh, to double check the string if everything is fine then it will show up and you will see all the data that you need to know so basically you are done that's how you connect mb miner but also trx miner is the same so yeah now you are ready to go and you begin mining obviously keep a look uh, out for the rejected shares for the hash rate and make sure that it is almost the same as what the miner is reporting and you should be fine if uh, the number of rejected shares is not too high then you can keep on doing this now the good thing about uh, the binance pool is because uh, it has only 0.5 percent fee and uh, obviously the mining is uh, sent to your to your um, to your account uh, immediately so you don't have to wait for that you can uh, withdraw your amount whenever you want basically you just go into the account uh, management then you can uh, no you can go directly sorry to earnings then you go here to balance and when you go to balance in here you will see the balance of your pool basically so if we go to the ethereum in here you will see the amount of the ethereum that i have on my balance if i want this balance i can withdraw it at uh, any moment so basically you just click on transfer and then you go from you say from transfer from the pool to the spot wallet ethereum obviously you set the amount how much do you want to withdraw you hit confirm and it will go immediately from the pool it will go to your ethereum wallet on binance account so when you go to the spot wallet you will see your ethereum uh, uh, your ethereum balance that you have transferred and this is a very good thing about binance pool because obviously with other pools uh, you have to wait a certain amount of time from two to a month you have to wait a certain amount of uh, uh, ethereum mind to be able to withdraw it or to send it to you and so on but here you can get it whenever you want and you don't have to pay any fee for the withdrawal because everything is done within the binance ecosystem let's call it this way so uh, this is uh, why i'm using binance uh, and obviously maybe you should do the same so yeah that was it for today thank you very much for being here guys if you have any question or anything don't forget uh, to leave them down on the comment section obviously don't forget to use my referral links if you want to help a little bit and uh, yeah happy mining to all of you guys and as always i will catch you on the next one bye bye